full harvest moon is on the 29th, which is a couple days away. And it's part of the moon cycle. There's a bunch of different moons. This one specifically notates a good time to harvest your fall crops and prepare for winter. And if you look, when, when things are planted on time, these are just about ready to be harvested. Look how huge this sunflower is. And there's hundreds and hundreds of sunflower seeds back there. I had a late start because I was building that water tower you can see out there. So I didn't water my gardens as early this season. But if I had, you could be pretty positive that these pumpkins and all of these carrots and all of these tomatoes would be ready to harvest as well. My season also runs a little bit longer than a lot of people's and these greenhouses makes it possible for me to harvest throughout the winter. But as you can see I have a lot of peppers and tomatillos here in fact that will probably make it to harvest before it gets too cold here in the greenhouse. Just yesterday I came in here and harvested a couple spaghetti squash not even thinking about it it was just the prime time to harvest them and lo and behold this harvest moon is just a couple days away. I was thinking about the history of the full harvest moon and I can imagine you know way before you could really get your hands on a calendar before calendars existed before electricity what a really awesome unique time it would be on the 29th in this or on the fall harvest moon how awesome would it be to witness the night just being lit up it wouldn't happen that often and it's it's time it tells you hey now's a good time to harvest your crops and in fact it probably would be you'd go out and take a look and harvest most of your crops and start to prepare and you could have you know a party with the family and things like that and it would just be a really unique and kind of an exciting time i would imagine way back before you could just get on your phone or turn on the TV. There weren't things like that to do. And so the rare occasion when it's going to be bright outside all night long, and not only that, the moon looks absolutely huge because it's closer to the horizon. And that's probably why they're so noteworthy. And to this day, you know, have meaning and value for a lot of people, especially farmers for the fall harvest. I made a post this morning asking you guys, my subscribers, if you found value or meaning in the fall harvest. And a lot of you that I've never heard from, a lot of people who have never commented on my channel at all, it must have struck a chord with you because there's a lot of comments that I, I don't ever remember seeing comments from. And, and you guys have chimed in and shared stuff, information about your family and your rituals for um, the moon and it's meaning to you guys. And I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, matter of fact, I see that right now, the fall harvest moon is trending on YouTube.
like today, I'm throwing on plant fabric on the top of my greenhouse here, and then I'm going to close in the rest of the greenhouse with panels in preparation of it getting cold. It, it'll hit, well, it'll start to hit the 30s pretty soon, so I want to be prepared for that. Hopefully my perspective on the topic was valuable to you. If you guys want a free copy of my ebook, just check out the link below. I'm giving it to you for free. That way you can learn more about my homestead. You can subscribe to watch over 400 videos about my frugal homestead. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.